the satanic nebula or the lagoon of lost stars or we could go to brighton i've got a whole day worked out sorry but as you can see i got plans have you look at me yeah okay no 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 look at me yeah look in seriously why is your face all colored in? 7.15, meeting me. You are? Date. Second one. Got words out, not in the right order, but hey, maths teacher. Out! Are you taller? Heels. What, do you have to reach a high shelf? Right, gotta go, gonna be late. For a shelf. Bye. There you go, you've got another playmate. Hardly anywhere in the universe has that number. Well, I've got it. Yes, from some woman in a shop. We still don't know who that was. Is that her now? There are very few people that it could be. Don't! Why not? Because if you answer it, something will happen. What? A thing. <laughs> it's just a phone, Clara. Nothing happens when you answer the phone. Ah! <laughs> Doctor! Don't touch it! Where are we? How did we get here? Who are you? Sorry, what's going on? I don't understand. <laughs> what is that thing? It's a memory worm. What happened to your face? Delete your memories. Did you see her face? How did I get here? The same way we all did. But we've all forgotten. Yeah, and who are you? I am the Doctor. A Time Lord from Gallifrey. I've agreed to this memory wipe of my own free will. I am Clara Oswald, human. I've agreed to this memory wipe of my own free will. Do I really have to touch that worm thing? Yes, you do. And change your shoes. Your next sigh. I'm sorry, augmented human. I have agreed to this memory wipe of my own free will. I am Sabra, mutant human. I've agreed to this memory wipe of my own free will. 